I'm Valtis. I'm Sara. And I am Junior Cheese or Johanna or Young Nikolai. I have a lot of names, but yeah, we're in a band, aren't we? We're in a band and it's called Reykjavíkur Dætur. And you're watching Toasted, the best TV show you'll ever see. Oh my god, it's true. <laughs> Welcome to Groningen. Thank you. Skål. 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 I've been to Iceland, to the Iceland Airways Festival, but I forgot all about the Icelandic language. I'm sorry about it. It's just too difficult for me. You know Skål. So. Yeah, but Skål is also, I think, Danish, right? Skål. Yeah, true. But then you're okay, I think. You know Skål, yeah. Hey, thanks so much for having, uh, for having us and thanks so much for coming over. Um, by now, I think the story of uh, the Reykjavik Dottir is, uh, is well known. I mean, you started off, um, but I don't think anyone expected it to be this popular and to have so much impact. Am, am I correct? <laughs> I don't think, um, yeah, no, I don't think none of us could have guessed this when we started. We were just having fun. I mean, we're still having fun and we're actually just talking about it on the bus over here. Um, like there were a couple of other bands in the bus and they were all just calm and collected and like we were being going totally cool, cool. just like yeah. being on the band bus and we were and, st and we we're still going like oh my god did you see that pretty house and like this is so much fun <laughs> oh my god we're on the poster yeah. <laughs> you know so, like so. if we're, we're still doing that and as long as we're doing that and having fun we're going to keep this going you're not only on the poster you're also on a beer this is really you have your own personalized beer this is a dream come true, mom. I made it. We are, we are, <laughs> we're not going to do a gig now until, unless we have like this. Our name on yeah. the beer. Yeah. We won't drink a drop of beer unless it has our name on it. Yes. Maybe you have to have your own brand of champagne and wine as well. Oh my god, it's my favorite drink. Champagne. Yep. Or like, yeah, sparkling wine because I, I still haven't got the money, but. <laughs> You did a you did a show in Norway, if I'm correct, and you always invite people to, to join, really, right? I mean, there women are invited to join you on stage. Do they actually do that? Um, no, not not all the time. But um, and we do also like we. This is Reykjavik Dadra is just an. It's a. It's a. Well, now it's a band, but it's still like anybody. I feel like any woman in the world can take this and be a Reykjavik Dadra, like or uh, like if she wants to do rap she's in the band like I feel that way and but with the live show we have of course invited people to come on stage but they don't always they don't always I think it might be sometimes too intimidating yeah. I, can imagine. I mean it, I think it is very intimidating I mean even to watch you girls live on stage you're like so many women on stage and it is an intense show I think it is intimidating for me as well <laughs> yeah it's I mean we do it it depends on the venue uh, but I don't know it's just to have more fun, to invite people, you know. Hey, running a band with three people is already hard. I think even if you are in a band with two people, it's going to be hard because there will be discussions all the time. But if you are with so many people in a band, there must be like, how do you get things done? Yeah, we have to talk things through a lot. And we have like a lot of meetings. It's amazing that we can have meetings because we're yeah. like million uh, and we all have school and like we're studying or having another job. So yeah, yeah. we are yeah. all really active outside of the band as well. So yeah, it's a miracle that we <laughs> can meet. And somehow and like we manage and like now we haven't had like a debate, like that's a conflict in some time. In and time. yeah. And uh, yeah, that's um, of course like when you have so many voices and so many opinions, it will always be um, a bit hard. But at the same time, I think now we're in a rhythm. Like I'll kind of know what Sara wants to say, and like okay, yes, let's just yeah. No, I just like I think we're more now we're more in harmony. We're just like Valtis would probably love that, yeah, or like Sara would love that. Like let's just. Let's do it their way. Bunky Moon is named in some song, and I was like, well, I understand this word. I wish I could understand the whole song. Bunky Moon, I banged him. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. So that's that's the song is about, uh, yeah, that. So, well, I mean, this is of course in your face, and of course your lyrics are in your face, and your show is, is in your face. So when you first started this off, you must have had a lot of reactions from people like, you can't do this. I mean, girls being so in your face on stage and having such tough lyrics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, There was, uh, 
Yes, it was at first. The people didn't like, especially like the hip hop or rap scene in Iceland, didn't really invite us as uh, as colleagues. As, yeah, as yeah. colleagues, exactly. And then we had like this kind of a, what do you say, like conflict with one rapper in Iceland, and that uh, what? Uh, his. <laughs> You can say him, yeah, yeah. Good day. But we're, uh, since now we're, we're friends, friends yeah, now. Yeah, okay. But uh, after that debate, we like uh, figured out like, okay, people they don't ex- accept us. So what can we do about it? And we were like, we have to just don't give a fuck, and we have to yeah. stop pleasing people and just please ourselves and just write about what we want. So we write about like feminism. We write about Tinder. We write about uh, politics, whatever. And that was like a kind of a turning moment yeah, in the band. Talking about politics, one of you girls allegedly said on television to the Prime Minister of Iceland, you can suck my pussy. Yeah. Why was that and how, and how does that come? Mm. Who was it? <laughs> it was Blythe. It was Blythe. Blythe. Yeah. yeah. Um, why did it... I can't really remember why. I think just... Why Why shouldn't you tell your p- Prime Minister Wasn't to... Wasn't it... Uh, I think she was on television to promote the first women rap night before ah, okay. we ca- became a band. It started out as like a open mic. Girls just having a paper yeah, and like yeah, writing yeah. it. Yeah. And um, they were just promoting it and she had... I think I'm saying the correct thing. Uh, just she had a rap and he was there. Mm-hmm. And in the rap there was Suck My Clit. And she like... He was sitting next to her, I think. And she yeah. was like... Nah, rah, rah, saying her rap and said it... To him. to him. I think it was yeah. like this. Yeah, I think so. Uh, and that... Let's make up another story. Yeah, so we'll have yeah. more. We should make another. We should make two. Okay, that's yeah. true. Yes. So the okay. other story yeah. is... Um, the Prime Minister is a horrible person. Yeah. And I don't know why you would want the horrible person to suck your clit. No. But apparently that's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. That's so nice let's have two stories. Yeah. Or three. When you hear of this band, this, this female group from Iceland, playing on a stage as a guy of course I want to see it because I mean they're beautiful women in Iceland but um, this is very contrasting to the feminist thing you are bringing of course and it's not very respectful but I do think a lot of people would want to check you out because they go like so many beautiful women from Iceland on the stage I gotta see that uh, yeah I'm not sure like I've never thought of it that way and I think like um, I mean if if Whatever draws you to our show, like, it doesn't... But the show is sexual as well. It, it, it does sometimes turn sexual, yes. Because we, like, allow ourselves to, to be, be sexy. Mm-hmm. If I if, if I, I want, want to be sexy, sexy yeah. I can be sexy. But yeah. maybe Waltis, she just wants to not be sexy. She might not want to, I don't know, take her shirt off or anything. So, like, we let yeah. each other do whatever we want to. That was what I was going to say before. <laughs> uh, ah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank so you. Clever. Uh, but Thank you. <laughs> Yes, uh, but um, yeah, people can come with whatever motive they want to. I mean, but then we have what we want to say, and they can just listen. Yeah, spot on, because actually, what you, what you, you're very right. Because you, if a rapper, a hip hop guy, grabs his crotch on the stage, nobody thinks twice. They'll go like, "Yeah, he is so macho," yeah. and and it strikes me that and now I come to think of it, as a guy. I find it strange that women can be sexual on stage, but I accept it from guys as being normal, so... Yeah. Exactly. So maybe it's like trying to normalize it, maybe, or yeah. whatever, yeah. we just... Well, I mean, if you if you want to do it and you have fun, why not do it, right? Yeah, exactly. It matter. Yeah. And, and it's like no one is telling us to do it. Yeah. It's just our... Yeah, uh, what we want to do. There's so much potential for this. Do you, do you see it as well and, and, and do you want to pursue this? Of course, like I think we've been, I mean we've been a group now for about three years and we've come so far in just this short time and I think I think in all of our like hearts and like just feelings we feel like give it a, let's try a year more, let's try a year more, let's, let's like let's not give it an end uh, point yeah. or whatever and I think like we're all um, we're just all so excited about this right now and we're the creative flow in the group is so good right now we're writing a lot of new lyrics and a lot of new songs and and also just i think we've come to that point that we are completely ourselves in the band and on stage and so like having reached that point you can't quit now like no, we have exactly. to keep on we have to keep on doing this yeah. this and is so it's much so fun. funny we also uh, talked about it we had like a uh, we went to an Icelandic TV show, uh, which was like kind of a scandal, whatever. But 
what when uh, we went to the TV show, we kind of like trust the set, and we like just did set talked about what our pussy and or something. But and people were shocked. But the thing is, we talked about it. We remember when we walked out of the set, we were like, we could have done more. This wasn't this wasn't wasn't that much. And then just we like went online, and everything was like blowing up and we were like oh my god and that's why it's also fun we don't always have to like say fuck you but sometimes it's fun to like just shake things up and it's amazing how it's it's amazing that i mean that that there's so many reactions coming from that's what puzzles me you know like okay didn't we like see everything now i mean we had the sex pistol swearing on tv like is it still shocking yeah, yeah like it's really I am really shocked that we are shocking in a way. That's never really the plan. Like, no. yeah. let's shock these people. Never. Let's we just yeah, we're just doing us. And apparently, it's relevant and shocking and like yeah. And we just are doing what we want to do. Okay, the album is out as well, 14 tracks. Uh, normally, I w I'd love to discuss tracks because I love music and. But for me, again, the lyrics are really important and I didn't get the lyrics because I don't speak your language. But the production is fantastic, I think. And I do understand the flows and I hear the flows and I think they're great too. So that makes me think who, who creates this music and how do you work together? Because if you have so many people, everybody has an idea and you, and you bring it into music and somebody produces it or how does it work? Um, well... <laughs> <laughs> Um, we usually divide ourselves up in like um, duos or trios, um, maybe four, like on a song, like I kind of feel like I want to talk about beer and Sarah will be like, I want to talk about beer also, like let's do that, let's do a song. And so that kind of works like that. And then we actually, we've never had a consistent producer. We just work with all kinds of people. And but then we got like Maki, one guy to yeah, yeah, yeah. finish, like to, to get the... Uh, yeah, we had one Mast mixer and one mas uh, one dude who mixed and mastered. Um, so, but the like, I think for this concept of a band, you can't really have just one producer. Like, you have to have all the different genres of hip hop and all the different like. I mean, if yeah, sometimes I just really need something from exactly that producer. Yeah, it does sound yeah. like a unity. It's not like a collection of songs with different tunes. I think. I think that's I. I think we made that. Like in the end, it's chose like the songs. Yeah, we I mean, have we chose more. them. We have a lot more, and um, I mean, just the vibe throughout it is just our vibe. So it doesn't yeah. really matter at this point what producer we have. It's just yeah. yeah. Band makes the band makes music. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And we have like really different opinion on rap and hip hop and yeah. music in general. So sometimes like, I mean, of course, like not conflict, but it's like, yeah, okay, we're not on yeah. the same page right now, you know. But yeah. then we make these group songs where we're all together. And then sometimes like we get a beat or something and either we write our lyrics one by one and one and then we just put it together and that's a song or there are two together that write the lyrics and they like this is really much for you Sarah yeah, like this is this so you. it's mm -hmm. it's it's weird just like an art clan or something I love the photography I love the styling I love the artwork of the album uh, who did it and how does it come about because there must be more than one artist who does this right actually um, one girl in the group she is um, a visual artist. I was trying to find the yeah. English word. A visual artist. Um, uh, her name is Solve Palstotir, and she's yeah also a rapper. And she did the album and the artwork. And then Thordis Björk, one girl, she made our logo. We all have this tattoo that's on the on the CD. She made this, and we try to like, yeah, we try to. Yeah, we try to because we are a lot of us. Like she is studying visual arts, I'm studying uh, directing. She is studying uh, product design. Product design. So we try to use us to yeah, make material. Yeah. yeah, and like we had a lot of meetings about the the album and try to come to a conclusion.